Hey little axolotls, welcome to another video or if you are new here, welcome to the tank. My name is Ezra and this is a space where I talk about my experience healing from childhood trauma along with um, other mental health things and physical health, uh, polyamory, sexuality, gender, race and the list kind of goes on. And today I wanted to talk about something that encompasses, I guess, neuro neurodivergency. Now I am autistic. I was diagnosed, I think two years ago. I don't know what the concept of time is. And I've been seeing in my feed on Instagram, I think like all those like ad things or on TikTok, these earbuds that are supposed to help with noise isolation. Now I, Personally, like I have my own uh, earbuds that are for, for listening to music, but they don't do a good job of like isolating sound when I'm not listening to music. I also do have headphones, um, which I can do a separate review of um, maybe at the end of this video or in a separate video. We'll see how that goes. But sometimes it would be a lot easier or it would be, it, it's good to have something that's a little bit more discreet non-sponsored video, although I wish it were, I have bought these. These earbuds are by Loop, which is the brand, but I bought two of these to test and try out. This one here I've got is Quiet, and then the other one which you saw before is the Experience Pro. So right off opening both of these, it actually does say in there what it is um, to help. So for the Loop Experience Pro, you've got reduce the volume, enjoy the music, Loop Experience Pro combines an acoustic channel, filter, and membrane to reduce noise by 18 decibels without distorting it. So primarily for music. It does come in this, which I think is really, really cute. I was just assuming it would be like, I don't know, standard container plasticky looking thing, but this is honestly, I could like keep this on a keychain. I don't use a keychain, but... Oh, and both of these do come with um, the... Uh, yeah, but like the different sizes and this one does as well. I forgot to mention there are extra silences that you can put on the inside of the uh, Experience Pros. Ooh, that's right. I got these in the rose gold. These are hella cute. I like this. I like this. Okay, so I'll pop these ones in and see how they feel. Initial thoughts. I can't hear anything other than myself at the moment, but there's no loud sounds around me. So again, I'll give that a review later on. My voice does sound very muffled when talking like out loud, but that's the only thing that I can hear at the moment. Now to try the quiet. I got these in, I think the, oh, I got these in the black. So these are just made of silicon. I'm pretty sure these ones are. Yeah, the loop itself is made of silicon. Again, no left or right indicators, which is fine because I'm pretty sure they're the same shape again. These ones are like, not that they're harder to get in, but because they're not as, as physically hard as obviously these ones are, it is a little bit weird to get them in because they're very like scooshy. I don't know whether there's much of a difference in me speaking. I think I can kind of hear myself surprisingly actually a little bit more than I could with the other ones, but that could just me be a pseudo effect, but I will give a review later on in the week. I could just hear my rabbit just now. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to part two of the review of the earphones. I also decided to put in a bit of review on the headphones that we already own along with the um, earphones as opposed to earbuds these ones. Now these ones are Samsung Galaxy or Samsung earbuds, whatever. They're the first kind of version that came out. I, I don't know, it's super technical. All I'm going to say about these ones is the fact that they work good for music if you're listening to music. Um, but the problem that I have with them is just I'm not a big fan of in-ear earbuds um, for a lot of reasons, mostly because they are quite uncomfortable to wear if they are ones that are for listening to music as opposed to the ones that we got recently, which are just for, you know, everyday wear, so to speak. Now, one thing I will say about this, because I have spent the past, I think the past hour, I've spent trying to find 
one set of these because I sat it somewhere, is use the actual loop that is on them, use that to put them on a keychain, put them on something that you carry around with you frequently, or put them in a specific spot. And I know that that, that last bit is probably difficult, and I think maybe it has to do with having a dissociative disorder and misplacing things, or just a general thing of I am terrible at putting things back in one spot, but if I had have had them on my keychain, I wouldn't have lost them in the first place. So I would probably suggest that. Now, after I think about a week of wearing these in different situations, it seems to be, to be very much a matter of how much you want to shut out some surroundings when you go to like cafes or restaurants or if you're just in a shopping center it can be quite overwhelming but you still want to be able to talk to the person that you're with for that i prefer to use these ones which are the loop experience pro people have mentioned though as well mostly obviously my partner has mentioned that i do speak quietly when i'm wearing these because Obviously, it is difficult for me to hear myself and then judge from that how audible I am when I do talk to other people. I'm not as comfortable wearing these ones, the Experience Pro, as I am with the quiet version because these have the plastic rings on them as opposed to the silicon rings. So if you're looking for a pair where you can somewhat hear the world around you and you're a person that goes out of the house then these probably would be the best pair for you out of those two obviously that moves us across to the experience or the the quiet versions which i got these in black and they're just like a silicon kind of material they're very flexible i still don't like the feeling of them in my ear but i certainly preferred them to the ones that have the little plastic ring like these are a lot easier to get used to. The only obviously downside to that is that if I am out and about and they work really effectively at shutting out a lot of the noise behind around me and making sure that I'm not overwhelmed but at the same time if I'm wanting to carry out a conversation with someone sometimes I do have to ask twice as to what the person said because if they're speaking a little bit quietly or even at a regular um, regular um, volume, it still can be difficult to hear. These are really good when I'm trying to just get into my own zone or if I am feeling quite anxious or overwhelmed or overstimulated at home, being able to sit in my room or have the choice of sitting anywhere in the house rather than having to isolate myself to my room I can actually put these on and still be comfortable playing a game that's like a very like mindless kind of game on my computer so I do like these for that fact but at the end of the day I still at this point prefer headphones just due to my own comfort over earbuds I recently purchased a new pair and I don't like them. They are the Audio-Technica ATH-AN-C500BT, which they look like this. They do have the, if you can see on the side here, so you've got the charging port as well and then you've got the, they can plug in to your computer for you to listen to if you, for example, haven't charged them but like the, the noise cancelling, sorry, I don't know, it, it doesn't, I find that it doesn't really do much and maybe that's just because they are a thinner set of headphones compared to the other one that I'm about to show you, but they don't seem to isolate noise very well and, and I don't like the sound that comes through them. It's just very, it's very tinny if that makes any sense like it just feels very a warped sound which I can understand maybe that's because of the noise isolation and how the technical side of things work but it is very warped and yeah it has just a very tinny kind of ring to it whereas my favorite my 
trusty earphones that I still have at the moment that I got I think maybe a year and a half or two years ago. These are Bluetooth headphones so you can listen to music but these are really good for noise isolation and I got them from a company called Audiara I think and they have been an absolute godsend. I wear them a lot at home. I have worn them a lot when I go out of the house. At the moment I primarily leave the house just to go to therapy because I usually go out with my care worker but sometimes when I have weekend shifts with her is I will take these out with me if I know that we're going to a shopping centre for example or somewhere where there's just going to be a lot of noise. These are over the ear and you can probably see maybe in comparison to the other ones that I just showed you that they are quite thick. I may not have shown you the complete inside of the other ones which I will here but these are just that they're not maybe it's just because of the dome bit to them but they just they feel they just don't feel noise isolating these ones feel quite heavy in comparison to the other ones and I'm just a big fan of them because they do come completely over the ear they're really comfortable as well which I found an issue with those ones is that the um, not the plush bit but the squishy bit wasn't as comfortable to put over my ears and I'm very much a comfort person when it comes to wearing things in or on my ears like if I don't like the texture or the feel of it I'm, I'm not going to use it but these ones here very simple when it comes to the features so you've got the on and off button and features and everything like that here and for syncing it to your um, Bluetooth device whether it be a phone laptop anything like that on the other side of these there is a switch which these aren't charged at the moment but there is a switch where you can change it from noise cancelling to non noise cancelling which really does make a difference between what you're hearing and you can still keep your music on or whatever in the meantime but you can flip it and it'll cut out a lot of the noise around you yet you're still able to hear the people around you and I really do like those. The main differences I guess between my favorite version of the loop earplugs compared to that is that the loop earplugs like completely shut out everything around me whereas the Audiara headphones they do a great job at shutting out the world around me and I can still hear people and when I speak I can still tell how loud I'm speaking but that's my review I am not used to doing these and I hope maybe in the future that I can do reviews on other products that I have found helpful um, as someone that has a lot of issues with like overstimulation as someone that is autistic but you know other people do have these issues as well and I hope that this might help uh, in looking for the, the the products that you might be after to assist with those things. I can't really think of what I would actually do other reviews on but I hope that this has been helpful and yeah if you do have any questions regarding these I'll try to get back to you with that um, in the comments down below but otherwise keep swimming with lax lottles and Always remember to be authentic, be accountable and be inclusive and we, I will see you for the next video. Bye guys.